let me uh, let me get back to you on that one. I, I have some uh, <laughs> some other cool maps that I can show you, but I can sure. definitely pull something up in another uh, screen sharing thing. Sure, no problem. So, you know, like you're mentioning before, you know, being able to capture all of this information was so important uh, to. This is that. Can you see? I can uh, definitely see that. Yes. Oh wow! So this would have been uh, an Allied map that would have shown, uh, obviously, enemy supply and administrative districts of uh, France prior to the buildup. Right. Right. Ammo dumps, pet dumps, dumps, engineer stores, rations. Well, you know, all this. So you can see that. You know, on a higher level, you know, obviously this is sort of meant to generalize information and it's not sort of as detailed as some of the different scales, but this is key to, to know where some of the assets are of the German army, right? As you can right. see here, one, you know, so they, pro they probably have one of each, right? And then the beaches and so on and so forth. And, you know, this is just enemy supply administration this isn't even defensive features right right so they probably send out bombers or well yeah maybe and even then, fighter you know, planes like dive small dive bombers to to go and bomb these places yeah or you know you can even see ammo dump right if you're you know if right. you could find that on a one to twenty five thousand map you could have a pretty good you know pretty good uh, chance of hitting that ammo dump in that area, right? Exactly. So, um, so that's one, like this one, topo topographical map. So it shows soil types huh. in uh, Normandy, right? Right. So, you know, descriptions of, you know, this is obviously important when you're, you know, Germans didn't place any armor east of the Orne River because it was heavily inundated, right? Right. So, All right. You know, and this that. is where uh, 6th Airborne Division dropped in this area, right, to secure these bridges to make sure that nobody would come through this side because they, you know, the, the Allies knew you couldn't get a Panther tank through here or Panzer IV or any of that, right? It would just right. get down and become a a target for uh, strafing fighters. So that is super interesting. That really bling brings you to the eye of the uh, to the general, maybe the guy who plans the attacks, the, the yeah strategic planning for for battles. So this is a little bit further south from Khan, and this I think is sort of uh, you know showing you know locations of you know. That's pretty. Those, so those are guns, gun positions as well. Uh, I think these are hedges and tree areas, oh, right? I see. So clusters of trees, um, passable oh. but difficult woods. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. I see. Now. Impassable woods in, you know. Right. <laughs> so, let's see what else I have. Yeah, here's a good one. Uh, roads, railways. And communication you know so this is uh the routes that the germans would have used to sort of uh ferry troops to and from uh you know the east to west right you can see that right on uh by a highway here you know going down like and, and yeah so you can think there's even uh yeah so rail lines right rail network of normandy you can tell that how important that is right how are you going to transport how are you going to transport a tiger tank from Germany to France quickly? You're going to use <laughs> rail, railroads, right? Exactly. So. If you bomb one railroad, they cannot get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, apparently, though, you can build railroads pretty quickly, though. Like, uh -huh. oh, here's just another one um, profiles of uh, valleys, right? So, right. This, this would be. Uh, uh, a valley type feature that's found on a, a 
topographic map and then if you were to turn it to the sideways you can this is the side and obviously you you don't have like a 3d map this is what the elevation would look like right wow. that is crazy you know these are all that. really these are these are some of the best sort of high level maps that i've really come across right bridge widths lengths uh so wow i've never seen those all these maps that you just shown i don't think i've ever seen them but it makes things so much clearer when we when we look at battles and we ask ourselves why did the battles took place here or why did the unit did an assault crossing right here in this location yeah. it, it makes so much more sense now i just want to show you here's a, a great um area that's you know pretty not too close to you but uh yeah the rex right. wall the rex forest yeah so this was the start of um operation veritable and blockbuster and all the, that push into the rhine right wow uh, so taking the Reichwald was a pretty key objective and you can see obviously all the defensive features to the wow. west gross beak heights nijmegen arnhem oh yeah uh, you know so you can see all these lines and arrows or machine guns uh you know some you know anti-tank guns uh, anti-aircraft guns uh artillery pieces that is so and this would all be Yeah, this would have all been derived from aerial photos. And you can see edition January 20th. Right. The Brits and the Canadians went through this area about a month later, towards the end of February, beginning of March. And uh, they went south and east and across the Rhine River. But um, yeah, there are some pretty heavily defended areas. And this is obviously right on the doorstep of Germany. So... It was heavily defended, and Clav is uh, in Germany also. So. Exactly. Yeah, I think yeah. that's where, about around that area, is where the West the German West Wall starts. Um, but it's yeah, like, and and you know maybe sort of features of the West Wall, right? So you know, like here you can see you know maps from the end of the Second World War, uh, you know, late May. But this is the location of uh, German troops that are still stationed in coastal gun batteries and so right. on. And so forth. Wow, so, that's great. That's wait, 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 when is that? Like May twelfth, seventeenth, uh, maybe. Oh wow! Hours. Wait, that's after V Day. Or is yeah, that yeah. They were still, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Those are the, uh, oh, I think I know that. Yeah, I think I know what that. Well, it, there's a lot of, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of soldiers to go through, but I don't, they, they didn't all surrender at once, right? So it was <laughs>